Hello everybody, it's me, Austria, the Snowy Crusher Podcast. This could be episode number... Number 39. I know it's been a long time since I posted a few months ago, but I've been busy with work. School started last week. <clears throat> And I really, really haven't, really haven't, really, really haven't had time to actually work on certain stuff. Um, I do have some work in progress. I do have a phone. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, so just gonna do a quick finished object. So I only have one finished object. This first, but this my only finished object is is a cowl. I did a test in it for. Um, I forget the name of it, but if I remember the name of it, I'll put it in the bottom of my description. But this was my first test in it I did. <clears throat> so that was really, really fun, easy color work as well for this, for this cowl. And then, for my work in progresses, I have three, and then I have an idea of what I want to use for the West Mids MCAL. So the first work in progress, this is another testament that I'm working on. The pattern comes out on the third. Um, but it's uh, it's a crop top. I'll leave the information below for the pat for the um, of the designer. Um, but it's a crop top. I'm like about halfway finished. About halfway till I do the straps. And I'm just using scraps for this one. my first mid work in progress. Um, I started this sweater, the crocheted sweater. Which is using some stash acrylic yarn I had. Um, I used acrylic for this one as well. Another work in progress has started is an idea for an idea for a new shawl in the future. Um, again, I'm just using stash scraps for this one. It's gonna be an asymmetrical shawl. Um, Excuse me, front pose and back pose, double crocheting, and it's also good to include some intarsia and some intarsia sections. This is, this is the work in progress. And then for my last flip, I just started this morning. Um, I'm part of participating in how he is following along. Oh, he look at all these fall in the And I'm knitting her shawl. I'm learning, I'm learning the dilemma shawl that I just started this morning. It's a uh, cast on today. And 
have a 16 stash yarn that I have in my just 16 stash yarn as well. Um, I'm using this. What is it? I can't remember the which one this yarn was, but um, the main color is from it's a sock blink that I got from Little Bing Co. a while back. Um, it's one of the it's double stranded sock blink, but I'm holding it double. This one is in the um. It's a finger when we finger weight. It's this one is called Sugar Skull. Um, I know that this this also yarn this other yarn I'm using is also by this one's by Sadness Guard. I'll put the information below. It's like a brush alpaca. Um, brush alpaca. And then I'm using another stash yarn. This is also a little bit yarn co yarn. This was the um, city so nice. I named it twice, and uh, this is this is another sock yarn. And then I'm using this pink. This is gonna be the main color of my. It's a sock pink. And then the pink was yarn that I got a while back from from um I can't remember. I'll put the information below. I forget who it was by. But I'm using this pink yarn as well. And I'm mixing them in between each each uh, section, each uh, half, each triangle half. This is the first triangle, the second triangle, this is the third triangle. But this is my um, dilemma shot at the moment, so I hope we can go along. I'm using a five millimeter needle. These are pretty much my work in progresses that I can actually talk about. I do have something that I'll be announcing soon for my newer, my upcoming shawl pattern that's coming out in December, around December for a crochet along. I should be getting the yarn for that soon. It also has, also has a collaboration with it. It's going to be coming out soon. Information soon. Um... Then I have an idea of what I want to use for the new for the MCAL for the Westlift MCAL this year. for the M this year. I think I'm gonna use for sure my another Lola Bianco. It's the um finger weight it's in the galaxy and then for the contrast I think I'm gonna use just a bear yarn that I had a bear yarn with that I was messing around with um with some food coloring that has some speckles, but it's just supposed to make a bear yarn. And then a tweed yarn. 
as the top, I think. So this might be my MCAL, my Mr. My, my Westmith's MCAL is here. If I do it, this might be it, maybe. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, if I forget anything, I'll put it in, in the description below. Don't forget to have a nice day. Bye.